Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday from Colorado. Just got done doing my lap around Red Rocks. I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm not a runner, but the challenge of it all is worth it because after you're done, you really feel good. So I would not call myself a runner, but I am uh, running anyway, just because. Um, it's good for you, and I, I like the way I feel after I do it. There's a really nice breeze today. I usually just hop in my car and leave after I'm done, but I thought I would get a little bit of logging in and cool off a little bit. I rolled down the windows in my car so that it could ventilate, and there's like cloud cover, so that really helps. Not too much sun. Uh, I put on my bug spray today, and I really think that helps because mosquitoes have uh, been out this year, probably because of all of the rain. We got that storm that we had last night. There were, um, I think there was one tornado warning and then there was like a flood watch until like 10, 10, 15 p.m. last night. So we're supposed to get more storms today, but you know, I feel pretty safe in our house. It's brick and we have a basement if there's extremely bad weather, so no worries there. But I don't really know what's on the agenda today. I'm not sure. Just kind of whatever comes up. I know I need to finish that um, garden netting project. I don't know, that's kind of a work in progress. I've been working on that for like the past three or four days. I have to go to work tomorrow and there's a new job that I want to apply for. That's not due, the application deadline is not until the 27th of July though, so I have a while to work on that. And then I also have a couple of projects I need to work on um, up at the museum where I was going to school in Boulder. One of my old supervisors asked me to lead a summer workshop for a group of upper elementary students. So I have to do like a plan for that, a script for the, for the program. Kind of like a lesson plan. You know what, I feel like going to Target. You all wanna go to Target with me? All right, let's go. I was catching up on some vlogs this morning. Who are some vlogs that I watched? Nilo and Blue. Hey Nilo and Blue. I also watched His and Hers LA, Tearing Out and Company. But I'm trying to catch up on all of the vlogs that I've missed back when I, we took a little break from vlogging. I'm gonna look through the clothes section. I haven't looked through their clothes in a while. This is kind of cute. Isn't that kind of cute? It's like a, a shawl thing, but it has fringe on the bottom. Here's some pants. Here's some more. Those are cute. I found another pattern that I like even better. I think I'm gonna get these. All right, I think I found a top to go with those pants. Something like this might be cute. It just has a razor back top. I've been home for a while now. I just hopped out of the shower and I'm trying on these clothes that I bought at Target. Oh yeah, I didn't show you all what I got at Target. So um, I got these pants here. I think I showed you all these, but just in case I didn't, this is what I got. But they're way too long. So I have them turned inside out and I went ahead and pinned them so that I can hem them because I don't want them to be dragging on the ground. I've done that before and it's just not a cute look. So I'm gonna hem them up. And then I also have on this uh, new shirt that I got, but I don't know if I really like it. I mean, it hangs low on the side, like right here. So I need to wear a bandeau with it, which is fine, I have one. But I just don't know if I like the shape, so I left the tag on this one. I might take it back to Target and return it and try something else. But aside from the way that it fits, I also don't know if I like it with these pants. I bought it to go with the pants, so we'll see. All right, the needle is threaded. Now I'm just going to start sewing. I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube while I do this, watching the Zebra Tribe. Hey Sarah, family, hope you all are doing good. Here are the pants all hemmed up nicely. They're still touching the ground a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind if they are, you know, lightly dusting the ground. I just 
can't have all the extra fabric. But I wanted to show you all the way that this looks, this outfit. Please excuse the messy bedroom. But, okay, see this shirt is loose like the pants. And, I don't know, I just don't like it. I feel like it's a little too slouchy for me. I think if the shirt was tighter like this, it would look better. So I need to try a tighter shirt. Yeah, if the top were tighter, it would look better. But I love that these pants have pockets. That's so fun. So I found a top that's more fitted and I already like the way it fits. It has this rough edge along the midriff here. It's not a very evenly cut shirt, but I like it. I think, yeah, if I'm gonna wear these pants, I need a more of a fitted top. Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm on my way into Target. I'm gonna return that white shirt I bought yesterday. Maybe get a different one. It's pretty cool. Oh, I like the circles. Yeah. You got triangles down here. It's geometric. Very much so. Got a repainted four square yeah. box. Four square. The ultimate child's challenge. That one's got a twist though because it's on an angle. Yeah. So that adds an extra layer of challenge. I enjoyed Foursquare when I was younger. How about you? Yeah, it was one of the fun uh, playground games. You don't have to be like, have any sort of athletic special skills or anything like that. No. You just go, yeah. Which is probably why I liked it, because I was not athletic growing up. Did you ever do shoe shines? No. What? Shoe shines. It's when you push, you uh, put the ball to your the, your opponent, but you get it right near their shoes. Dang! <laughs> no, instead I never it, did shoe shine. Instead of it just bouncing back up to them, uh -huh. it just bounces right at their feet. Now this guy obviously was the expert. I should have had you on like my team. You know, if we ever played teams or something. Are there teams? I can't remember. I'm sure you can think of something where there's a team. I mean, Maybe I think it's usually just, I just don't remember the rules. Like four kids playing against each other. But I'm sure you could do a, a team if you wanted to. And then there's like the king, right? There's something to do with one of them is like in the king position and you get some advantage. I don't know. Maybe you get to start. Uh, I don't know. Forget the rules. We need to go look up the rules. And go play. Put a four square thing in our backyard. Next cookout we have. We could put it in our driveway. Four, four square. Four square tournament. Yeah, we would have enough room on our either our back porch or on the driveway. And then you gotta go get one of those little bouncy balls. As you can see, we're walking over to the park. Oh, my arms are getting tired. Okay, I gotta switch arms. I gotta switch arms. Um, we went to Korean for dinner tonight. And we ate a really big meal. So afterward, I was thinking that I wanted to go to the park and just walk walk off the food a little bit. That was a four-seater stroller. Oh, was it? It was full. Was it full? Yeah. Oh, really? There's four kids in it. Oh, that's cool. I hear a tuba or something, yeah. Maybe we'll see some music over here. Yeah, maybe it's not a saxophone. I don't know. Sounds like a tuba to me. Trumpet, maybe? I have seen people playing trumpets over here before. Did we get that on our vlog? Uh-uh. You all hear it? Yeah. Some kind of brass instrument. It seems a little low to be a trumpet, but then it seems a little high to be a tuba. 
I'm going with tuba. Yeah, maybe it's a tuba. See the young ones. Yeah, they've gotten a lot bigger. They still have their kind of downy feathers. Hi! <laughs> you must be on the other side of that island, huh? Which way should we walk? Coming to a fork in the road. I hear an accordion also. Let's walk this way. Okay, yeah, I don't necessarily want to go all the way around. Yeah, I hear an accordion. Yeah, all the mosquitoes are out. Yes. We should have put on our bug spray. Or at least some little gnats or something. Yeah, awesome. something's out. The geese are probably like, wow, there's some sort of alpha goose over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. They're probably like, alpha goose. That was good. Oh, there they go. They're going to the master goose. Yeah, that's water dog.